Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back for another Dev Pro Duel video. Next match, Cross Banlist Cup. So we can arrive at one of the bigger groups here in the tournament with a lot of big names like uh, Dark Matter Rulers, Dark Matter Heretics, um, Burning Bees of course, Gravekeepers, also at Full Forest and Macro Rabbit. Um, so yeah, the matchup of, matchup of today is uh, Gravekeepers against Macro Rabbit. So Gravekeepers sitting at three points. So if they win, they will get the extra three points and and will uh, currently be placing at put at second place here in the group and then we have macro rabbit currently sitting at zero points so if macro rabbit wins this one we have three decks with three points Anyway, uh, let's see the decklist. So the first decklist is of course Macro Rabbit, Jack Bruins winning uh, YCS Barcelona's uh, decklist, uh, Macro Rabbit. For me, every power card, or oh yeah, all the power cards from back then are in this deck. A double uh, Rescue Rabbit, of course, a double Tour Guide. Tour Guide was at 2, and then the power exceeds like Lagia and Dolka, and double Macro Cosmos. And then the second decklist, we have Gravekeepers. This should be a uh, Frasier Smith's uh, Gravekeeper decklist from whoa, when was it uh, it was a YCS that he won and I think the top three decks from that YCS were Gravekeepers although I might be wrong but um, yeah I think that should be it uh, so yeah, Gravekeepers at full force with a uh, triple uh, royal uh, tribute, one of the, the best spells here in the game. Uh, discard all of those monster cards from the opponent and get free information about the opponent's hand. Double Neck Ravelli, Frazier only played two, a double Starlight Road, also very important. But uh, yeah, all in all, very consistent deck. So which deck has the advantage? Um, it seems a bit 50-50. Both decks play a lot of back row, um, which is definitely an advantage against both uh, decks. And... On the other, on one side we have Gravekeepers with Royal Tribute and so on, definitely uh, a big power card. And then we have Macro Rabbit that can set up Macro Cosmos backed up with those bigger exceeds like Yatolka. So for me it's a bit 50-50. So let's hop in into the first game. Alright, uh, first of all, I think uh, my opponent gets to start. Yeah, I'm playing with Dino Ribbit. My opponent is playing with Grave Keepers. He has an excellent start. He already opens up with Royal Tribute. So set one monster. Best case scenario for him. That's a Grave Keeper Spy. I think it's a Recruiter though, the Sangen. Um, so immediately he's going to Warning on the Rescue Rabbit. All fine. Uh, immediately Torrential Tribute, his uh, Summon. I think he summoned his uh, Descendant, right? The Exalt like, uh, yeah, Exalt Force alike card. Um, and as expected, his face on was a recruiter, so I think he searched out his, uh, well, is it assailant? Yeah, I think it's assailant. Uh, he runs into the prison, yeah, he knows my back row, I think. Uh, yeah, the, the two back row I know. Um, so he, yeah, he's going to Book of Moon, his assailant, to protect it against the dimensional prison. Immediately going to four star torrential tribute to his, yeah, it's going into a grinding game. Uh, kinda expected since, again, both decks are very, uh, yeah, very trap heavy and it's hard to keep a monster on board, getting some damage since both decks, I think, are playing uh, dimensional prison. And here, yeah, it was just a matter of time that uh, eventually Gravekeeper would top deck into stale, stale Gravekeeper stale uh, to get back to Gravekeeper monster from the grave back to the hand. There is the descendant flip over recruiter immediately warning that recruiter recruiter won't trigger since I think you need to control it on the field. So phase up on the field. And warning prevents that. Uh, try to normal summon my Guayba. Eventually uh, try to exceed summon for the possible Lagia. But uh, yeah, as expected, uh, multiple warnings, bottomless compels and so on. Uh, I wasn't really banking on that. Uh, he makes a good move. He's going to solemn judgment on... Uh, I think it was a... What was it? I think it was a finishing, right? To uh, prevent, at least, yeah, to pop my Spirit Reaper with Assailant's Effect. Assailant's Effect targets, so Spirit Reaper is destroyed. And he can uh, still attack my face on monster and deal damage. And he top decks into another stale, so that uh, yeah, should be game over. Unless I top deck into a, a Rescue Rabbit here, this should be game. So I'm behind uh, Gravekeepers leading 1-0. But I have the advantage, I get to start. So 6 cards immediately opened up with the bunny. Very cool. Normal summon the bunny, use its effect and immediately, yeah, strap on my helmet. It can't get uh, more easy than this. Strap on the helmet, so go for Lagia and set 4. Rip the tour guide and uh, yeah, it's a scenario of multiple chainlings here. Immediately, yeah, eventually, Book of Moon on the Lagia, uh, no, not on the Lagia, on the Levier. So Levier 
Olivia is put face down. Lagia is forced out on the Campos, I believe. And the bottomless was uh, at least, yeah, uh, Forbidden Lands was chained on the bottomless. So Olivia uh, is still on the field with multiple materials and he needs to get rid of it. Um, he could have said Spy. Um, I'm not really sure if th maybe that was a better play just to stall it out. Uh, then again, I would have just, like here, what happened, flip over Olivia, get the effect, probably searched out Dolka. Depending on, uh, yeah, what, what happened, right? But uh, anyway, so I get it. I win. 1-1. One, one. Next duel. Deciding match here. Um, here my plan was to go for Zen main, since I do have Dark Hole, I do have Torrential Tribute backed up with Macro Cosmos. So, um, yeah, Torrential Tribute for a possible Zen mains, detach one card and pop one card for my opponent would be nice. Um, anyway, so Venus Shane. Here the Spy. He chains his Book of Moon. Okay, all good, so we know it's a Spy. And uh, here, very cash. Very nice. Um, activate Dark Hole, immediately chain Macro Cosmos to immediately pretty much cripple him. So he loses his face down spy and his recruiter. Both are banished and very unfortunate for him. I think he already has, uh, yeah, here, he top decked into that second Gravekeeper Stele, which is that <laughs> very nice Macro Cosmos MVP here in the match. So normal summon Saber Source, I'm not going to attack. I don't want to attack into Mirror Force or Dimensional Prison. Uh, I think I have to wait. That's the better uh, play, the better option. I eventually go for Lagia. Get, try to get something going with Lagia. I think into the prison. Was expected. Try to negate it. He changes his compuls and I chain my judgment. Solemn judgment to prevent the compuls from going through. And Lagia is getting in for 2400. And I think his set card is the Royal Tribute. Yep, he cannot discard this Gravekeeper Commandant because of Macro Cosmos. I take it to the face down. Um, of course, his useless recruiter. No, the, what is it called? I think it's Commandant. Yeah, it's indeed Commandant. Um, and yeah, he keeps top taking dead cards. Um, I think it topped like the bottomless, right? And there is the useless star throat and those dead cards. The Royal Tribute, the both Gravekeeper, Stalis, the uh, Starlight Road and the bottomless are not enough to pretty much yeah, destroy the Lagia so I can attack for a game. So very nice. Micro Rabbit. Uh, this side, uh, Micro Rabbit won this match. So we have three decks with three points here in the group um so very important for the next match so next match we have dark matter hybridics will be paired up against burning abyss and if dark matter hybridics wins that match then there is no problem both uh, dark matter and uh, ba will move on to the top 16 but yeah if dark matter hybridics loses that match against burning abyss easy burning abyss will be placed first place and then we have three decks with three points and uh to see which deck will end up the second place and will move on to the top 16, I'll explain in the next video. Alright guys, that's it. Thanks for watching and feel free to leave a comment or a like if you enjoyed the video. Leave them signing out. Peace.